Hey guys, so I'm testing out a new pair of shoes. This is the On Cloud 5. Um, I like them because they are lightweight and they are waterproof. I do have an upcoming trip where I'll be walking quite a lot. So I'm looking for a pair of shoes that are providing me some good cushioning, some good support, um, and a pair of shoes that will help not only, you know, feel, make my feet feel comfortable, uh, but walking for a long time, you tend to feel some aches and pains in your legs, your knees, your hips, your low back. Um, so it's important for me to find a shoe that's gonna help to alleviate any of the potential strains that I may be feeling all the way up to my low back. So I did order these online and I was not able to do the shoe test that I would normally do um, in store. So I'm gonna share that with you. So you can do these three tests when you're going shopping for your next pair of shoes. So the first test you're gonna do is you're going to take the heel counter and you're gonna take two fingers and just squeeze that. And you wanna see if it collapses, which this one's pretty good, it's pretty sturdy. The second part of that test is you're gonna take um, the top of the, t the heel counter and try to push it down on itself. And that's pretty good. It's not it's not collapsing entirely and it's got some good support. So that's important because this is where you get the stability of your heel from in this area. So it's important to have that stability in that shoe and that looks pretty good to me. The second test that you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top of the toe box here and you're gonna try to bend it over on itself. And what you're looking for is to make sure that um, you're looking at where it breaks, where it bends, would be where your feet naturally would bend. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna push it over on itself. And that looks pretty good to me. So you can see if my feet were in the shoe, um, it's breaking there and that's where my feet would naturally bend when I'm walking or running. So that looks great. So um, if the shoe had bent, like for example, in the middle here or folded over on onto itself, to me that would be a failed test. So that doesn't provide an, um, a good break in the shoe and good support. So the last test I'm gonna do is we're gonna do the dish rag test where I'm just basically gonna twist the shoe and to see if it basically collapses on itself. So that's pretty good. It's maintaining its rigidity and that looks pretty good as well. So for me, that test is a good test and it passes that test. Um, if it did fold over on itself, it was like a dish rag essentially, that would be a failed test and that wouldn't be so great for arch support and stability of your feet. So to me, this shoe looks great and it um, passed all my tests and I'm looking forward to seeing how it feels. So hopefully I can update you guys on that as well.